Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. For ages, Xiaomi phones have come out with a MIUI software interface in various iterations. But now that's getting replaced with a new one called HyperOS. What's HyperOS all about, and how is it different from the MIUI we've grown accustomed to? Let's dive into it and find out. HyperOS is new, but already present on many Xiaomi and Poco phones, and is planned to roll out to even more of them in the near future. It isn't entirely different from MIUI, and people who are used to Xiaomi's software experience will feel right at home here. By default, you get an independent notification center and control center, accessed by swiping down from the top corners of the phone. There's support for large folders on the home screen, and they let you organize your apps and still have their icons accessible with a single touch. HyperOS uses quite a few Xiaomi apps, such as the Gallery, the Music app, Mi Video, and the File Manager. And many Xiaomi devices feature an IR blaster and have a smart remote app through which you can control various appliances. You can either keep all of your apps on the home screen or enable an app drawer. It has a search bar and can automatically organize your apps into categories. The task switcher shows all of your recent apps and you can choose either a vertical or horizontal arrangement for it. From here, you can launch an app into a pop-up window or as part of a split screen. The smart sidebar is an expandable menu on the edge of the screen that stores shortcuts. Apps launched from here will automatically be in a pop-up window. The sidebar becomes a video toolbox once the system detects a video player, offering some useful functions. And through the theme store, you can customize the look of your home screen and get new ringtones and always-on display styles. All of those features were already present within MIUI, so what's new in HyperOS? First off, HyperOS brings a bunch of under-the-hood changes and optimizations, which are supposed to maintain peak performance even after years of use. The new OS is more lightweight too, taking up less storage space. As far as aesthetic changes go, there are new optimized fonts. These fonts support various languages, not just ones with Latin-based characters. To further enhance the visual experience, HyperOS smooths out and refines things like textures, animations, and transitions within the interface. New animations around the status bar provide contextual information, like the pop-up which appears while you're charging. The control panel looks different. The quick toggle panel is larger now. Before, in MIUI, you would need to side-scroll to browse through these shortcuts. The notification panel is customizable too. You can use HyperOS's card style with full-fledged icons from the apps sending the notification, or the default Android-style cards with more minimalist and flat icon styles. New lock screen options are available too. You can either build one from scratch or choose a particular style and adjust it to your liking. With HyperOS, Xiaomi means to follow the AI trend, including features like AI-generated subtitles for your media, speech-to-text during meetings, and real-time voice translation. AI photo search makes it easier to find specific sorts of scenes among the photos in your gallery. AI Portrait allows you to make an AI-generated version of yourself and place it within different backgrounds and scenarios. And AI Expansion will let you reframe and enlarge your photos, using AI to fill in the blanks. However, we weren't able to use these advertised AI-related features so far, they're still in a beta development stage. HyperOS uses the self-developed TEE security system. It's hardware-level security that stores all of your sensitive data, like passwords and biometrics, on an independent microkernel. On top of sending files, you can now cast your screen to other devices like tablets and PCs and multitask. It's not a full-on desktop-like experience though, like you'd get from Samsung or Motorola. Finally, your HDR photos and videos will take advantage of the HDR-enabled display on your phone when you view them in the default gallery app. Third-party apps such as social media aren't supported though. In the end, HyperOS retains basically the same functionality as MIUI, just with some extra polish. Xiaomi could have called it MIUI 15, and nobody would have batted an eye. This is just the first iteration though, and we'll see how HyperOS evolves as time goes on. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.